guys, it's me again and welcome back to my channel and in this video, I am finally talking about obviously <laughs> my entire luxury handbag collection Madami na nag-request nitong video na to but na-anxious talaga ako so bahala na whatever you guys think about this video but I just want to say that I'm not in any way bragging or showing off I just want to guide those people that are starting their collection and share my thoughts. This video, I'll just run down ko lang in no particular order. And if you want to know an in-depth review about a particular bag, just comment down below so we can make a separate video about it. And before we get right into it, just please click the subscribe button if you still haven't. And give this a thumbs up if this is a topic that you guys are interested in. If you still haven't seen where my handbags are, it's in our headboard. <laughs> Probably this is the first time that you're gonna see this. This is Dawn's very brilliant idea. There it is. The compromise kami ni Dawn because I have been dreaming of displaying my handbags when the girls come in a reading house, but that's not possible because yung alikabok. And at the same time, I don't think it's fair for Dawn if ganon yung parang room ko na lang. Wala naman kami big room to have my own space or closet. So this is like a compromise that we did. So if wala siya dito or gusto ko lang silang titigan, I just put this down and see them displayed. Otherwise, pag nandyan siya and it's just a normal day, you just don't see my expenses and all. It's just a regular headboard. <laughs> so there it is. So around cool, no? This is my favorite, favorite part of the house. <laughs> anyway, let's just get right into it. So again, this is in no particular order, kung ano lang ang madampot ko sa likod, then that's what I'm gonna show you. First one is this um, Prada Goffre bag. I'm just gonna write down yung particular name of the bag. So, kung i-murder ko man yung name nila or maling masabi ko verbally, at least it's written down there. So, this particular bag is a nylon bag. It comes with a long strap and a top handle. I got this one from Dubai. And it's one of my dream bags, ko, but I wanted, um, I'm gonna try and find a photo of a particular one that I really want. Yung walang mga gold hardwares and mga rivets na ganyan. It's just plain black and parang ito lang yung makikita yung gold. But apparently, ang tagal ko siyang hinahanap. Yung pala parang old season na siya. And I was trying to look for one in the pre love market, pero wala din ako nakita. Pero nung meron na akong ganito, like ko na siya nakikita. So it's so sad. Muti ko nang ibenta to so I can buy that. But hindi na lang natuloy. But anyway, I bought this particular bag because this is considered a classic of Prada. And you know how I always just buy classic bags. And the very, very, very main reason I bought this is because I want this to be a diaper bag <laughs> on my future kids. Binili ko to three or four years ago yata because that time I really am ready to have a child. I thought so. So until now, yeah, nandiyan pa rin siya. Next one is you already know by now that I just got this recently. And if you haven't seen my unboxing video of this, Louis Vuitton Empreont in the color noir or noir. I'm gonna put the link down below. I just recently purchased this because I realized that I wanted a black carefree sling bag that I can use for traveling or every day. So this is what I got. Next is my Lady Dior. This is vintage and this is yung Hindi siya yung leather. Hindi ko alam kung anong material to. The story behind this bag is my boyfriend's sister who was working in Hong Kong that time. Binigay sa kanya ng boss niya to. Marami yata binigay na stuff. She told me na hindi naman daw niya gagamitin and she thought na mas magagamit ko yung gantong bag. At that time, hindi pa sumasabog ulit yung Lady Dior na trend. After like one or two years, bigla na lang nag-boom yung Lady Dior. Wala na siya ng strap. Wala na rin yung shape niya. But I don't mind. It's so nice. And yung hardware niya sobrang ganda pa rin talaga. Pagka pinag-restore ko to, I think it would look really nice. And sometimes I use whatever strap I have that is black if I wanna wear this as a crossbody. Sobrang swerte ko <laughs> that I had this one random day. So that is my vintage Dior. Next is my Louis Vuitton Speedy 30. This is the very first bag that I bought with my own money. I know talaga sa sarili ko na I was gonna buy this as my first investment or my first luxury bag. My Lola has this particular bag na mas matanda pa sa amin. That nasanay na ako na ito lang yung gamit niya palagi. Pagbukas mo puro mga gamot and all. Yun na yung nag-inspire sa akin that I'm gonna get this bag 
para kung ano't ano man na mangyayari, hindi ako makabili ng other bags. This is the only bag that I have. It, I don't mind. Kasi, my lola has this bag only and it has standed the test of time. Iba isipin mo, until now, it's still uso. When I was in Dubai, pero pinabili ko siya sa friend ko that was in Paris that time and nakasave ako na sobrang laki. Na-mention ko na rin siya dun sa other vlog ko about saving when you're buying luxury goods in Paris. I'm gonna put the link down below as well if hindi mo nyo pa napapanood. But yeah, I had a friend get this for me and when I got it in Dubai, pinang-hot stamp ko siya with my initial ZM in Louis Vuitton in Dubai Mall. My favorite kasi Hello Kitty and my Hello Kitty keychain in there that my friend hates. And dami nang sabi sa akin to get the bandolier version yung may strap but I don't think, hindi ko alam sa akin lang yun na but I don't think that's considered a classic piece. I think ito yung legit na pinaka-classic. So kung classic na yung bandolier ngayon, then yeah, but ito pa yun yung gusto ko. Medyo nahirapan ako sa kanya sometimes. However, I don't really mind. I'm so happy I have this in my collection. I think everyone has to have this in their collection. Kasi kahit na lola na kayo, imagine, and then you, you give this to your apo or anak, sobrang matutuwa pa rin sila. You know, that's the kind of bag that it is. Next is another vintage. It is YSL bag. Ayun yun naman. Sobrang mukha na siya duma. You know where I got this? I got this from an ukay ukay in Baguio when I was in college. So technically, this is my very, very first luxury bag. <laughs> the lupa pa ngayon na bilig natin yung sa binigay ko sa sister ko, and it's both YSL. It has the authenticity card. Yung time na yun, hindi ko pa siya masyadong na appreciate yung itsura. I just bought it because it's YSL. Ngayon yung hardware niya. But now, bagay na bagay siya sa aking mga tita outfits, and it looks really beautiful, and it's red pa. Sobrang good pa ng condition niya, and um, sinabi ko siya to keep the shape. It has the monogram YSL print inside and there's a pocket in there. I believe this is real. Kung hindi man, okay lang. But sobrang tagal na nito sa akin from college days pa. Ito yung pinangpa-party ko, pinanggigini ko, and sobrang okay pa siya. And sobrang ganda pa yung leather and really an amazing, amazing buy. Parang I got this for 5,000 ata. Tapos dalawa yung binili ko, so 5,000 each pair. Nakatawad ako kasi nga dalawa yung bibigin ko. So that is my vintage YSL. Next is this Givenchy Nightingale. I got this in the pre-love market when I was in Dubai. But, brand new siya. So, parang yung owner niya, ayaw niya lang dito. So never pa niya nagamit. So sobrang good condition. I love talaga ako sa kanya when I saw it. Medyo madumi na siya. Dugyo talaga ako sa bag. Parang wala na nga yung dumi. It's just so beautiful. I love the color and magaan lang siya. Marami nang laman so I just use this over my shoulder for the crook of my hand and sobrang it makes the outfit na talaga. Sobrang swerte ko from getting this in the pre-loved market. So nakamura ako pero sobrang good ano pa siya. Naka-display na yan. I put the dare dust bags inside the bag. So dagdag stuffing na din. That is my Givenchy Nightingale. The next one is another small bag and this is my Balenciaga City. I got this from Bloomingdale's in Dubai. So that time, meron ako nakita ang particular green color ng Balenciaga na gustong gusto ko. Nakita ko sa reseller friend ko, Adele Love Lux. Pero ang tagal niyang mag-reply. Tapos parang naglakad lang ako after work and then I went to Bloomingdale's. This is not the green one that I wanted that time. But when I saw this, sobra ako na in love. Ang ganda niya talaga. Alam mo yung... Ewan ko, parang ako nabayo nung araw na yun. Hirap talaga kapag kami urge ka na, na parang ilang days mo na yung iniisip yung particular bag na yun. That, alam mo yung iniisip mo na talaga siya na mag-match sa outfit mo. And nakita ko to, it's like a very dark green with silver hardware. I think ito yung pinakaunang bag ko with the silver hardware. Kasi all of my bags are always gold hardware. Because as you can see, I always wear gold and ayoko ng silver hardware bag. But for, for this one, bagay talaga yung silver. Kala ko mahihirapan ako siya i-match sa mga outfits ko but it just matches everything and sobrang daming kasha ultimo yung bottled water ko kasha dito and sobrang gaan niya pa rin what I like about Balenciaga yan na yung itsura ng leather niya so kahit anong gawin mo gaskasan mo still looks like that it's so beautiful nasa list ko pa rin yung big bigger version ng Balenciaga but for now I'm very very happy with my one and only Balenciaga bag it's probably about 3 years old already mirror just in case you're wondering <laughs> Next is my Gucci Soho bag. Nung nauso yung Gucci recently, ang bigyan na nang nagboom yung Gucci, all of a sudden, I just wanted to have a Gucci box, yung black and white box in my collection. Yun lang talaga ang babaw. So wala akong maisip na Gucci and then one random day I was in church. Sa church pa talaga. May nakita akong girl na nakasuot na. Bigyan na lang ako na in love. So good thing we stuck si designer on board that time. So 
Kahit wala pa akong pambayad, he gave me this. Lakas ang loob ko, nude. Summer that time eh, so it will match my outfits. And ayoko siya ng black kasi marami na akong black that time. About the color transfers, and you can see, ayan na, that's the most color transfers that I got. Hindi talaga ako maalaga sa bag, but hindi naman masyadong malala. To be honest, it still looks nice. So, kung ibenta ko man to someday, then tsaka ko lang siya lilinisin, but I don't really clean my bags talaga. And this one fits a lot. So, gusto ko siya kasi very carefree, tas it matches every single outfit that I have. And ang gaan niya pa rin kahit puno na. I just wanna say, wala palang box to pag binili niyo kasi baka magtaka kayo pag bumili kayo sa store. So, I said nga na I wanted Gucci just because I wanted the black and white box. But when you buy this, wala tong box. <laughs> kasi mura lang for some reason, Gucci doesn't give a box for this. So, yun nga yung isang maganda din. When you buy from a reseller, kung bait yung reseller nyo, is you can request for a box for an additional cost. So, yeah, nag-add lang ako. And binigyan ako ng box. And this one is Michael Kors. Like this. Ayan. So, very carefree small bag lang din siya. Mom gave this to me. Actually, tigis sa kami ng sister ko. Always matches my outfit. And it's just small like that. Ayan siya. It's so easy lang niyang access because it's like a bucket bag. It's so cute lang niya for casual days. I'm not a fan of Michael Kors to be honest. I'm Mark Jacobs and then Kate Speed. Hate na hate kayo Michael Kors. Sorry, pero hindi ko talaga siya bet. But nung sinabi ng mommy ko na she bought me a Michael Kors, parang masada ako kasi hindi naman ako pwede nito manggi. Kasi bigyan niya, I have to be grateful. But then when she sent this, so cute naman niya. Halos lahat ng mga contemporary designer pieces ko binenta ko na. But I don't think I'm gonna sell this because my mom gave it to me and it looks like a classic piece. The next one, if you follow me on Instagram, you already know that I have the Felici again. I lost my first Felici before. I told you that it in my previous vlog. If you haven't seen that video, I'm gonna put the link down below as well. I just got this less than a week ago. I have a contacts in Europe at that time. There are other resellers, friends. There are six or seven people who have contacted me to check a Louis Vuitton store if they had this. Because I didn't know that when I filmed the video, I really missed it. 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 So, I messaged all of my friends in Europe. Either I didn't go to or I didn't stop. But then, I have one of my reseller friends. I'm going to buy it. Bag sa kanya. I buy gold from her. She's an FA from the Middle East. So I checked it just for her. When she was in Paris, she checked. She told me, if I have a lot of money, why don't we call her? I told her, okay, if you buy it at this price, go. First one that she saw, and she didn't have a lot of pictures. She just bought it for me, and I used it for her. I don't know, I didn't put it in my luggage ever, ever in my life. I will sell the inserts because I don't need them. I don't want it to be removed. So it comes with these two inserts, which with a zipper card holder with cash holder. The two inserts ito comes with this bag, but I'm gonna sell this. If you are interested, let me know. I'm gonna post it also in TN and Closet at Instagram. So, I'll give you the box when you buy it. Okay, next is my one and only Chanel at the moment. Wallet and chain. And this is my most prized possession. I got this from Dubai, which is very, 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 very wrong move because Dubai and Chanel doesn't Dubai is such an expensive place to buy bags, and Chanel is an expensive bag. But then, long time na nababaliw ako sa walk, I would always pass by any Chanel store in Dubai, and lagi siyang sold out. And then, nagpapahanap ako sa mga friends ko sa Euro. Lagi ding walang stock at that moment. Pag nagpapahanap ako, and then there was this one time, we plano kami ng friend ko si Vince. Hi Vince. Plano kami ng gumala that particular weekend. Nawa ko for some reason to mawag lang ako sa Chanel store. I always keep checking kung mayroong stock. Wala daw. Wala daw talaga. But then, nagpunta kami sa mall and we were just walking around. Napadaan sa Chanel. Yun yung same store that I called na sabi wala. But when I went there, sabi nila, may isa daw. That time, kasi ang hirap talagang makabili ng wallet on chain. Konti lang yung production that time. This is about 3 years old also. So that time, parang ako nag-panic pero wala akong pera. <laughs> so my good friend, Vince, I used his credit card and binayaran ko siya ng sahod. <laughs> So, yung sahod na yun, napunta lahat sa Chanel na to and isang buwan akong hindi kumain. <laughs> no regrets. I'm so happy. Sobrang mahal niya dahil sa Dubai ko binili. If I bought this in Europe that particular time, I would have probably saved 10 or 20,000 pesos. Whatever, it's here. And this is my most favorite bag of all time. Ibibenta ko silang lahat except ito. Ganun, ganong levels yung love ko sa kanya. Next one is another vintage bag. This is my Louis Vuitton backpack. Lagi nyo din tong tinatanong sa akin every time you see it in my Instagram. 
I travel with this a lot. Yeah, I got this vintage kasi wala na nitong style na to in the store. And may mga stain na siya dyan when I got it. So, kaya medyo mura ko siya nabili. Parang mga 20,000 ko lang ata ito nabili. Sobrang ganda. Lahat ang ganda. Yan parang yung chore niya and sobrang ganda lahat. Ito lang naman yung issue niya. But I don't really mind. Sabi ko sa inyo, hindi ako maalaga sa bag. I really use and abuse them. So, it's perfect also for my height. And kasha yung laptop ko. Anong time na yun, nakita ko lang siya randomly. And medyo mainit ang ulo ko nun sa isang reseller also. Dahil meron kami hindi magkakasuntuan sa binili kong shoes. So, sinoli ko yung shoes. And I got my money back. Nakita ko to. So, parang dito ko nilabas. May sukli pa ako from the shoes. It was the YSL Tribute shoes. Maling color yung nabigay niya sa akin. And that time, papunta ako ng state. So, perfect timing din. This one is my Louis Vuitton Neverfull in the GM size. First time ko magpunta sa Europe. And I said to myself, I was gonna buy something classic sa flagship store. I really, really wanted the GM size. First of all, because I am a tall girl. So, perfect size to sa akin. And it's a Neverfull. So, I intended to buy this for traveling and carefree. Look at the interior color niya sobrang ganda no first time ko makita siya that time one day before i got this dun unang unang lumabas yung new packaging this is also one thing that you want to share with you naalala ko lang ngayon is yung tax refund ng Louis Vuitton sa Italy is bigger than sa Paris. Konti lang naman, konting difference. Pero kung may, mas makakasave ka pag sa Italy, kung bumili, why not? So, takam na takam na akong bumili sa Italy just because mas malaki nga yung refund ko. But I said to myself, nung pinaplano pa lang yung trip na yun, I was gonna buy a Louis Vuitton in the Paris store. So, tiniis ko talaga. So, yun, buti na lang din. Naghintay ako kasi after 2 or 3 days, bigla na lang lumabas. Hindi ko naman alam na may lalabas bagong packaging. So, I got first dibs on the new packaging. And also, pinahot stamp ko din to. ZM. Just because, if you're in Paris and you're in the flagship store, they do it there in front of you. So, for the sake of experience and champions tonight, I wanted to be very memorable. So, pinagawa ko siya. So, I was watching them while they were doing this. So, very, very memorable. So, pagbili ko ng I forgot to tell you pala that this Neverfull came with this insert. Kasi yung mga unang batch ng Neverfull, wala pang ganito. So, sobrang perfect na nung timing when I bought this. Sobrang good deal kasi you buy this two together. And I just use this separately. I to travel lang sa airport. And everything is here. My passport, boarding pass, money, and mga valuables na kailangan hawak-hawak ko. Lalo pag yung backpack yung gamit ko. And then after ko makalampas ng immigration, sinasabit ko lang ito sa likod. Lalo pag nagmamadali. And lastly, ito pa talaga yun yung pinakalast. Mark by Mark Jacobs na satchel. It has a strap also. So ito, isa din to sa ginagamit kong strap sometimes for the Dior. When I had the Celine Nano, yung strap din ang ginagamit ko sa Dior. So, this is my very, very, very first one actually. Um, it's contemporary but it's very valuable for me. Bigay ito sa akin ng ate ko. So I was a maid of honor for her wedding. Iba normally may maid of honor gift yung bride. So parang yun yung pinaka sweldo mo for doing your duties as a maid of honor. And I kept telling my ate na I really wanted a luxury bag as a present. Pilitin ko siya to give me a Louis Vuitton. Kaya ko siyang kinukulat pero sabi niya it's too expensive. Oo nga naman kasi... <laughs> Marami silang gasos for the wedding. Sibigyan pa ako ng Louis Vuitton. But sana kung wallet lang. Kasi yung binigay nila sa groomsmen nila was a Louis Vuitton wallet. But I really wanted the bag. Sabi ko, o oh, sige, since medyo mahal ni Louis Vuitton, I was asking for the Alexander Wang na Rocco bag that time. Black din siya na marami siyang rivets dito na tad-tad na sobrang heavy that I am very, very thankful na hindi ko ipinilit yun. Kasi I don't think I would want that to be in my collection at this point. So, buti na lang din. So, that's why she gave me this. And meron kasama, iPod Touch ka kalabas pa lang iPad Touch that time. So, pina-engrave niya yung likod and she gave me this one. So, yung iPad Touch nandiyan pa rin siya kasi hindi ko nga din siya ma-let go kasi it's a, it's a memorable one. This has been to a lot of places also. Sobrang bango pa rin yung leather. Sobrang ganda pa rin yung quality niya. Para sa akin, sobrang luxury bag ko na that time. This started it all. Yung love ko for luxury bags. Those are everything, I believe. Wala na yata ako na miss. Kunti lang naman. So, I hope this video will not be too long. Mabilisan lang. If meron kayong particular one that you want me to talk about, just let me know. Kata nyo naman kunti lang, di ba? And very wide yung variety ng aking mga bags. And lahat sila may particular kwento. And some of them are like impulse buy, but 
marami na yun ako mga nabenta na wala na dito. That's why hindi sila lumalaki or dumadami na. Sabi nga ni Don, kung ano lang yung magkakasya dito sa ginawa niyang storage, yun lang. <laughs> so, if ever I'm gonna buy a new one, I should let go of something. So, for now, I'm very, very, very happy with the collection that I have. I started collecting five years ago, I would say. 90% of those are classic, 10% are vintage. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, since they're classic, if I sell them now, babalik pa yung money na nilabas ko during the time that I bought them. Yung price nila dati. Once or twice a year, nag increase yung prices. Ito mga classic ones na to. If I bought it for 100 pesos last year, baka 110 pesos na siya this year. So, pwede ko pa rin siya ibenta ng 100 pesos. That is the concept of buying and collecting bags. I don't judge yung mga people na they buy yung mga uso or it bags. Si marami din ako mga friends na pasaway na gano'n. I always tell them, no, Mura kasi. It's still not mura, but it's mura because it's sale or nasa outlet. But yun nga, yung value niya bumababa. Pero at the end of the day, I just realize na whatever makes you happy and alam mo naman na you're gonna wear it and abuse it. You will make the most out of your money, then go ahead, bilhin nyo na lang. But my number one piece of advice when you're collecting luxury bags, yun lang talaga yung like yung sinasabi. Just stick to the classics. That's my opinion ha. So kayo pa rin ang masusunod because it's your own hard-earned money. So whatever makes you happy, go for it. But at the end of the day, also think about um, practicality. Kasi hindi naman maliit na pera yung ginagas natin when we're buying this kind of bags. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Matagal nyo na request There you go. Sana naman ay na-fulfill ko na ang craving nyo. Please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And I'll see you on my next one. Bye!